Okay, we're back at Ormond Field where, well, the weather has really turned awful. Now, as you can see, anyway, a small crowd has gathered to witness our ultimate engine torture test. Now, remember, it's one thing to run an engine under no load without oil, but we plan on draining all of the oil from this Cessna. Now, remember, Buck Parker is in the plane. He's the passenger. He's putting his life where his product is. Now, we've also installed a couple of small TV cameras to the craft. Buck Parker has a camera in his hand there. And Ormond Beach traffic, this is X1R, taking the active runway 35, and we will be remaining over the airport. Ah, right, good luck. Thanks. You all set? Yeah. There we go. Okay, there they go. They're taking off. The X1R plane is in the air and in the rain. Okay, we're here, we're all, uh, we're rooting for you, so good luck, gentlemen. Is it rough up there in the wind? Not exactly your ideal conditions today. No, it isn't, no. Just saw you took off overhead, good luck, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is, I mean, the weather here is really terrible. You can't see it on there, but it's really terrible. It's dangerous enough just to be flying here. Okay, we're gonna drop the oil on this pass in about 10 seconds. In about 10 seconds, they're going to drain the oil from that plane. Five seconds. Pull the plug. Here we go. Me and you now. They're pulling the plug right now. They're draining the oil out of that airplane. They're uh, how's it going up there, Buck? How is it going, sir? They're, we're definitely dropping all the oil out of the plane as we speak. I'm amazed they're doing this at all. I mean, you know, to try something like this in perfect weather is dangerous enough to do it in, it's raining. I don't know if you can see it, but it is raining out here. The only thing protecting all the parts inside that engine is gonna be the X1R. Now, on this particular plane, it's interesting to note that it, it is cooled by oil. So it won't have any coolant and it won't have any uh, lubrication inside. All into the catch pan, boys. You can see the oil pressure is dropping to nothing. That's a sight that I don't like to see. <laughs> We have no oil. We have no oil in the engine. No oil. Believe me, there's no <laughs> oil in this plane. We can still hear it running. Uh, how's it going up there, Buck? How's it going, sir? You're running without oil. At this point, in an airplane without the X1R, I would be uh, very definitely looking for a place to make an emergency landing. Now, we should note that even a slight loss in oil pressure could become a mayday situation in aviation. So we're counting on X1R to allow this engine to survive tremendous, tremendous pressure of not only running without oil, but bringing two gentlemen back down to the ground safely without oil. But I'm gonna have a little confidence in this. I'm gonna make one more circle around. <laughs> This gentleman believes in his product. Buck Parker invented this stuff, and he's in that plane flying it without oil right now. Buck, this is Schneider on the ground. Is everything all right? Flying absolutely no oil in the engine. Absolutely none in the engine. OK, we're on a short final at Ormond Beach. We have zero oil pressure. Imagine what kind of protection this stuff will give to your car. and the engine is still running. They're taxiing over to us right now. You can see all the oil in the belly. OK, let's get them. <laughs> hey! Hey! That was fantastic. Yeah. That was good. That was good. Right there, buddy. Here we go. <laughs> Nothing. Zero. Unbelievable. Dry as a bone. Hey, look. Don't settle for yesterday's technology. When it comes to protecting your car, RV, boat, motorcycle, truck, or machinery, the product that really lives up to its claims, the one with a 100% satisfaction guarantee, is X1R. Trust your equipment, yeah! Trust your equipment to the proven winner. You really should call and order X1R, the friction eliminator. It's horsepower in a bottle. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I have three airplanes of my own. I bet you it's going to be in every one of them as soon as I get back. <laughs>